Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm Rick Fussell and this is the Ingrain Workshop. In today's video, as you can probably see, we're not at the Ingrain Workshop. This week we've been up at Red Maple Cabin in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. This is one of our overnight Airbnb rentals that we own up here and in this week's video we're going to be installing a cellular antenna to help increase the Wi-Fi inside the cab. That's coming up next here at the Ingrain Workshop. Okay, so while we were up here, I went ahead and ordered off of Amazon a cellular antenna. And I'll leave a link in the video description below to where you can pick up this antenna. This is a waveform antenna. Now, depending on the type of router that you have, you'll probably have to get a different antenna for that specific router. We use AT&T up here, and AT&T has two antenna connections on the back of their router. This is the waveform uh, antenna. This is the wide zone antenna, uh, so it's not a directional antenna. So the, depending on your cellular service, uh, whether you have a T-Mobile or AT&T type router, you may have to get a different waveform antenna, but waveform makes different antennas for all the different service providers. So you'll probably want to check with them before ordering your cellular antenna. This is the antenna that we ordered, and we're going to go ahead and open it up and show you what's inside. So it comes with a mounting bracket that they recommend mounting either on the roof of your building or on the side of your building. I think it's better to mount the antenna on the side of your building up high. It comes with some mounting hardware and some um, different adapters for attaching the cable uh, to the router comes with 30 feet of uh, antenna cable and then it comes with different uh, antenna connectors. It comes with a, uh, an L bracket or an arm that you'll mount the antenna to and then we'll mount this to the base and then that will be what's mounted to the, to the wall of the house. And then the last thing in the box is the actual antenna itself and this is the antenna that comes with the unit and then this is the mounting hardware to mount the antenna onto the arm onto the uh, the arm so the first thing we're going to do is attach or assemble the antenna so the first thing we need to do is assemble the bracket that the antenna is going to mount on so this is the wall mount and then this is the arm. Here I've already installed the pivot bolt that the mounting arm pivots around on the base and then there'll be two smaller screws and nuts that will mount on both sides um, which will lock in the angle uh, that you have for the antenna arm. And for right now I'm going to leave everything just finger tight and loose until I dial in the actual direction of the antenna. Next I'm going to open up the hardware that's going to mount the actual antenna to the antenna arm and it comes with two U-bolts and then it comes with some flat washers and some lock washers and nuts. And then next I'm going to unwrap the antenna. The antenna has two antenna ports that will connect to that 30 feet of cable. Uh, that will run to the router and then here on the back of the antenna there are four bolts uh, and the bolts come with uh, flat washers, lock washers and bolts and that will bolt to the L bracket uh, that came with the antenna and once you get the L bracket mounted on the back of the antenna then you can take and mount the antenna uh, using the U-bolts to the actual antenna arm. So what I'm going to do now is just mount the uh, L bracket to the back of the antenna and then I'm going to take the U-bolts and then take and mount the actual antenna to the antenna arm. And you can see here at the top of the antenna arm there are two holes. Um, the same two holes are on the other side of the antenna arm and that's what I use to bolt to the base. 
So the antenna arm can be bolted in either direction. So we're not going to be using those bolt holes. Um, you can see the U-bolts that just wrap around the antenna arm and then they're threaded through the L bracket that's on the back of the antenna and that's how the antenna fastens to the uh, antenna arm. So now with the antenna assembly installed for the most part, and again, everything is just finger tight. We're going to connect the two ports from the antenna to the 30 feet of antenna cable. And it doesn't matter which, uh, which cable you hook up, uh, so you don't have to worry about cable one being hooked up to cable one. Um, they're identified on the 30 foot of cable and on the back of the antenna. So you just hook up the cable one uh, to the cable one, but as far as on the back side of the router, it really doesn't matter. So here on the back of my router, there are two antenna ports. There's one on the left side, which I've already taken off the black cap, and then there's one on the right side, and I haven't taken off the black cap, but this is how it will, will look. And then you just use a flathead screwdriver to take the cap off and then you can see the two antenna ports on the back of the AT&T router. So the threaded connections that came with the 30 feet of antenna cable were the same connection and fittings that I needed to thread directly into the back of my router. Uh, so I didn't have to change the adapters here. The unit did come with additional adapters, so depending on whether you have a T-Mobile or some other uh, service provider router, you may have uh, to change out the adapters, but that, that's fairly easy to do. They thread on to, to this cable, and then uh, the different adapter would thread directly into to your service provider's router. Okay, so with the router still inside the house without the antenna connected, I ran a speed test. And the results of the speed test were we had a download speed of 3.9 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 0.1 megabytes per second. So now with the router outside the house connected to the antenna, now we're going to start at zero degrees and work our way around 360 degrees to see what the best reception is. And we're gonna do a speed test at roughly every 15 to 30 degrees. So I ran an extension cord from the house so I could plug my router in outside here at the uh, picnic table. And then the um, installation guide had an actual um, log so I could actually log in the direction of the antenna and then the download speed and the upload speed. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just rotating the antenna every 15 degrees, and then I'm writing the degrees down. Running, I'm running the test, writing the degrees down, and then writing the download and the upload speed. Um, and then I, and then as soon as that's done, I move it another 15 degrees and run the speed test again. And I do that until I make a complete circle at 360 degrees. And you just want to take your time during this process because you definitely want to know the direction where you're getting the strongest cellular signal. There are some cellular, cellular tower map apps out there, but I think it's just best to do this test and you know run through all the different degrees is, so you can determine exactly the best uh, cell reception at your location. And also the speed test that I'm using is just through AT&T. Um, I believe you can download any type of speed test app on your phone and run it using that as well. Okay, so I went ahead and connected the antenna to the uh, northeast side of our house. Um, I, I didn't even actually mount it on, a, on the roof line. I mounted it down at ground level. And you can see this is the cellular antenna. This is the two connections that run inside the cabin um, and then connect to the back of the router 
and I'll show you the back of the router here in a second. So this is our AT&T router. And as you can see on the back, I have the two cellular antennas connected. I also have a ethernet cable that runs to a ethernet switch over here where I branch off and uh, send ethernet to the individual TVs within the cabin. So the initial speed without the cellular antenna with just the AT&T router inside the cabin, and this is the way it's been for about three to four years since we purchased the cabin, our download speed was about 3.9 megabytes per second, and our upload was about 0.1 megabyte per second. Uh, with the uh, cellular antenna installed, our download speed is now 50 megabytes per second, and our upload speed is 7.9 megabytes per second. That's an increase of 12 times or 12 and a half times greater than it was without the antenna. I think that comes out to maybe 120% increase in download speed. You can definitely tell the difference. I just, another project I wish I'd have done sooner uh, than now, but the supervisor put me to work as soon as we got here. I wasn't planning on making this video. We actually ordered the antenna while we were up here at the first part of the week. Amazon delivered it within two days, and I installed it uh, in less than half a day. So it's a very easy project to tackle, uh, and I would highly recommend it if you're getting any type of cellular re uh, reception and you're in a rural area where you can't get traditional uh, internet service or Wi-Fi. If you can get uh, the uh, cellular internet through AT&T or through T-Mobile, I would highly recommend it. I think we pay about $40 a month uh, for this AT&T service. Now we are a business, so it is under a business name, uh, but I highly recommend investing in the waveform antenna, uh, either the directional one or the wider zone one, which was the one that we got. I think it's gonna run you about $240 but it's well worth the money spent on this antenna. So well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it helps you out. If it did, then please leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like DIY and woodworking projects, then I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'd also ask that you hit that bell icon, that way you'll be notified of all our upcoming videos. To all my existing subscribers, thank you all the support that you've given this channel. I'm Rick with the Ingrain Workshop. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Okay, our vacation was in all projects. The supervisor let us out so we could have a little fun. Good.